Hello everyone and welcome to the Quampedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today we will discuss combining discretionary and algorithmic trading. Hello everyone, my name is Radman Wojtko, I'm CEO and Head of Research at Quampedia. Today we will discuss a very interesting topic. Our next article will be about the intersection between uh, discretionary and quantitative trading. So our world in 21st century is run by algorithms. We have computers everywhere. And the question is, uh, what is the added value of discretionary trader? I mean, does it make sense to invest a lot of the time into the screen time and reading the charts? And can we somehow use that experience and improve the algorithmic strategies? Zaratini and Stamatoudis in 2024 ran an interesting experiment. So the researchers took a discretionary trader and gave him a systematic strategy. Researchers allowed him to override signals based on his gut instincts. So they led him to pick which signals he would like to use from the algorithmic strategy based on his experience and based on the chart and the reading of the chart. A discretionary trader could decide which signal to take and which not and how to set up the stop losses and profit targets based on the stock's previous price action. Now the question is how it ended up. So uh, it ended up very well. The trader was able to improve on average non-profitable strategy into the profitable one. So that's like very, very interesting result. They used a specialized software. They anonymized uh, charts. Uh, they eliminated all extra information. So they wanted to ensure that there is an unbiased evaluation of the trader's decision. So what the researchers tested, they tested the gap events, so gap trading on the window from 2016 until 2023. Uh, so what is the gap trading? So when you have a stock and the stock significantly drops during the overnight session, you have the gap. How does the gap price actually usually look like so when you have a gap uh, when you have overnight gap I mean uh, usually the stock goes down after the gap so it loses some of the performance that was gained over the gap so the trading strategy tried to build on the gap trading they try to buy the stocks but it was systematically unprofitable however there is significant subset of the stocks that, that are outliers and then go significantly up after the gap the average stock after the gap goes down but there are some outliers top 10 percent or two and a half percent or top one percent and those stocks that can gain an enormous amount of money after the gap day i mean only one in 100 stocks or only one in 40 stocks or only one in 10 stocks uh, can earn a return but if we are able to find out which stocks gain this return we can turn unprofitable trading strategy into the profitable one what the researchers did is that they gave this trading system to a trader. They let the trader decide which stocks or which trades seems interesting for him and which will be omitted. What was the result? On average, the discretionary trader selected only 18% of the gap events. So the trader or discretionary trader did not take all of the trades. He took only one in six trades approximately or one in five trades approximately but this subset had a significantly higher performance and trade was a profitable and it was significantly more profitable than purely mechanical approach now i mean the discussion in trader ability to recognize favorable patterns such as yearly gaps in momentum cycles or multi-week or multi-month range breakouts played a pivotal role in improving trade selection so all in all it boils down to position management and rigorous setting of the stop losses and risk taking. So uh, this was the result of the strategy that was a combination of the algorithmic strategy and discretionary decisions made by a trader who had some really, really significant experience. So as you can see, the gap trading strategy is significantly outperforming the market. It has a really, really interesting sharp ratio, really interesting performance. All in all, the total return over eight years is over 4,000%. So, I mean, this is really great. I mean, what this performance demonstrates is the combination of human intuition and systematic training rules can improve significantly systematic rules. This is like very interesting and very counterintuitive paper. I mean, when you are a discretionary trader, I really recommend you to think about how you can use algorithmic trading and how you can use your experience to improve the algorithms that you can work with. 
And on the other hand, when you are a systematic trader and algorithmic trader, it may be a good idea to discuss your strategies with somebody who has discretionary experience because he can uh, help you to select the subset of the trades or he can help you with the position sizing, with the portfolio management. He can help you to create the filters so you can improve your strategy by trading less and taking only the trades that have the highest probability of the profit. So it really makes sense to combine the knowledge of the discretionary trader and the knowledge of the quantitative or systematic trader. This is what at least the research says. If you would like to review the research, here is the link. You can review the paper and our summary on our Quantpedia blog, or you can download the paper from SSRN. The paper is called The Power of Price Action Reading, and it's from uh, Carlos Zaratini and Mario Stamatoudis. So once again, I really recommend uh, you to review the paper if you're interested how to combine the discretionary trading and algorithmic trading into one piece and get the best from both ways how to approach the market. So I hope that you liked today's video. I think it was really interesting and I really like this paper. I can really recommend you. If you like our series of videos, please give us the like, please subscribe to our channel. It will help us a lot and uh, visit Quantpedia. We have a lot of other videos, articles, strategies, codes, etc. etc. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Are you interested? Then pick another video to learn more or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.